Uh, all right, welcome back to it. My name's Mark, or Mookie, if you prefer. Either one will do. And uh, we're here at uh, 88.5, the SoCal Sound headquarters. Please know that we are listener-supported public radio, and we can't do it without you. So you can join us at any time. Become a subscribing member at the SoCalSound.org if you believe on what we're, in what we're doing on and off the air. Today we're here with Truesdale. Hello! Hello! How are things? It's uh, Quinn and Georgia and Lauren. Yeah. And, Lauren. And uh, <laughs> it's so nice to be able to finally meet you. So nice to meet you. Believe it or not, we've played some songs off the uh, previous EP, which came out in uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. And now we're playing some tunes off of uh, Out of My Mind. Yeah, we're Yay! so grateful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hope so, because uh, it sounds great on the air, and we Thank hope you. that um, some other radio sta like-minded stations around the country are following suit and featuring your music as well. We're Thank hoping you. that as well. Uh, we're going to get into some live music here in our studio. Songs like If I'm Honest, Smart Iowa, and Point Your Finger. Mm -hmm. And I think our fans are familiar, or our listeners are probably most familiar with uh, Point My F Point Your Finger. Yes. Um, TruesdaleMusic.com is the website, the tour dates, the merch. Yeah. It's all up on there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. You just wrapped up the tour, it looks like. And um, how did it go? And how has touring changed for this band over mm. the years? Mm. The tour was great. Um, I feel like it was overall very successful. I, I think every tour we do, we can see a difference in the kinds of people that come and the number of people that come. Mm. And then for us, we're like always trying to level up our own performance, especially the songs that we've been playing for like years and years, just trying to add new things to it and mm -hmm. tighten everything. And yeah, I feel, I feel like it yes. was our best tour. Yeah. yeah, it's like crazy to see people singing our songs back to us. I think that's yeah. the biggest change for me that I've noticed in this past Pacific tour. It was, it was wild to feel like people really wanted yeah. to hear us play and wanted to sing along. And that was like very fulfilling. And wearing our colors. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people came wearing, the, we have these colors every time so, we perform. Uh, so it's it's blue, pink, and green yes. every Always. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you need a red member of Truesdale? Yes, yes. we do. I feel like I could do that. Yes, yeah. the answer is yes. We've yes. been waiting for okay, I'm not, uh, yeah. uh, your, you know, Application. Uh, yeah. Application. Okay. <laughs> I'm not incredibly musically inclined. That's okay. But I you could can add do interviews something. on the road. Yeah. I could. You could just Whoa. be here for the vibes. Have you done many interviews on the road? Stop and buy any radio stations or TV yeah. or anything? We didn't do a ton on this past leg, mm -hmm. but we went out for a month in October and we did several um, on that tour. And those were all like East Coast kind of things. Yep. So, awesome. Yeah. And uh, another tour is coming real soon. I think yeah. it starts in June. Mm -hmm. yes. Some dates with Teskey Brothers, yep. yeah. which is fantastic. And it looks like mm -hmm. that's primarily an East Coast yes. run, yes. more or less, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. so excited. I'm so excited to go out on the road with them. I think they're the biggest rooms we've ever played, oh, too. Yeah. And their music is so good. They're amazing. And we're starting it off with Bonnaroo, too. We're playing Bonnaroo. Cool. Yeah. Fantastic. Very excited. Heard good things about that festival. Never, Us too. Never been myself. <laughs> Neither have we. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we you basically capped off the last uh, tour with a, a show at the El Rey. Yeah. And I saw some shaky iPhone video <laughs> of <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, you guys covering a uh, Fleetwood Mac song mm -hmm. and uh, some other tunes as well. And even though it was the shaky iPhone video, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got goosebumps. You oh, know? Aww, yeah. thank you. I mean, these shows, they look absolutely Absolutely amazing, and I understand that the El Rey is kind of a special-ish venue for this band, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. We we played there about six years ago for our senior showcase. That's how we all met. We all met in college mm -hmm. at USC, mm -hmm. um, and every year the popular music program puts on like a senior showcase of the graduating members, and they all are in bands and like play their own music. Um, mm -hmm. And so six years ago, we played our song Love at the El Rey during the Senior Showcase. Mm -hmm. And so it was really crazy to, to be back. And we played that song called Love. Um, very surreal. And Incredible. Yeah. yeah, cool to be back and like doing our own show. Yeah, as yeah. the headliner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it was crazy. incredible. Singing yeah. that song in particular was like crazy to look out and be like, wow, all of these people are here now just for our band. Yeah. And yeah, it was really cool. That's really, huge. Really, really cool. Yeah. We had yeah. the wireless mics. We were like, yeah. We can walk out and do something different than we did six years uh -huh. ago. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's 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 very cool. So I was doing the deep dive on Truesdale. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been living with your music for quite some time now. 
Um, I found an article maybe somebody wrote, I think it's Santa Barbara publication out there. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm paraphrasing here, but they, they in talking about Truesdale, three different people from three different upbringings raised on three different kinds of music. Yeah. So what music, in your formidable years, mm-hmm. um, what music was around you? Yeah. And um, who brings what to the table, more or less, I guess is the question. Yeah. I feel like that's one of my personal favorite things about us mm-hmm. is that we, yeah, we came together with, I was raised on a lot of funk, um, so a lot of Shaka Khan, uh, Stevie Wonder, um, Prince, and then also, both of my parents are very musical, so I had like Joni Mitchell, also influences from my mom, Sean Colvin, Shania Twain. And I never really knew like what my voice was Mm -hmm. in terms of how I wanted to sing or write because the influences are so different. Yeah. And then meeting you guys, you guys are both from different musical upbringings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew up in Michigan in a really small town. So uh, a lot of country radio, country music, um, and a lot of pop radio. I think mm-hmm. that was like the first thing I ever like really listened to. Um, my dad always played the White Album growing up, so a lot of the Beatles. Um, and and then I think in high school I got more into like indie music, kind of like a lot of the soundtracks, like the Twilight soundtrack and Grey's Anatomy, and like all of these shows on the CW, having all these like amazing music placements, and then just starting to like learn those bands and really digest that music. I think also the radio, like the pop pop radio at that time was just like, it was a lot more song driven mm-hmm. than it is now, I think. Like there was like The Fray, yeah. One Republic, like those were like some of the biggest bands and like some of my favorites. Um, so Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So it was like a combination of what was popular at that time and just like country music and, and sync yeah. music. But what about okay. you? I uh, grew up not listening to it ton of music. I did a lot of musical theater, so I was listening to a lot of musical theater. I played classical piano, was in choir. Did I have I feel like I have a lot of those influences. Mm-hmm. Um and but like what was on the radio at that time too. There's definitely like some Green Day, some Avril yeah. Lavigne. Mm. Loved Bonnie Raitt and mm. Laura Jones mm-hmm. growing up. Yeah. Yeah. I would say mostly like if I were to put it in one it would be like musical theater. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> and then we like we really, I think if we were each to do our own individual project, it would be such different music. Wow. So yeah. that's the magic of Truesdale to me, is like we really are bringing, whether it's conscious or not, it's just what we grew up with, what's in our blood. And then whatever happens when the three of us are together, the sound even, separately from the songwriting, is something that you just can't replicate because it's just our, I feel like when people say that we're, we sound like we're related, mm. it's, such a compliment because we really are from such different backgrounds of music, Uh but we have such a similar uh, connection to what makes a song move us. Right. What makes, what we think makes a song great. Right. So we'll always sing it in a, with a similar, you know, love, Mm -hmm. which feels like part of the When it comes to songwriting, for instance, on this, on this latest record, do you think people could tell who's, you know, uh, hand, footprint or whatever mm-hmm. is on mm-hmm. each particular song, you know? I wonder. I don't, yeah, I, I don't wonder. know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not now. Knowing but that we know now, would you yeah. all just explain to us, you know? I feel like this past album, we did more collaborations, like more than just the three of us. And so I think it might be harder from out of my mind, but I feel like in the earlier EPs, it's a it's a little easier to yeah. tell maybe. Yeah. If, even if it's like who brought the start of the song in and it might dictate how the song right. goes. Right, I feel like that's also, yeah. Totally. it's like even though we have such different influences, I think we I think we do a good job of melding them all together yeah. to be a different thing all together, mm-hmm. which maybe makes it a little bit harder to decipher like which one of us is taking the lead there. Cause I think even though we have such different musical backgrounds, we're all, song driven and we're all looking to like tell a story Mm -hmm. and with emotion and with heart and I think that's always what Truesdale is looking for in a in a good song Mm -hmm. it's just like that heart yeah Um, yeah serve the song and I hopefully all of them have that similar thing thread throughout Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah when I come into like a Truesdale writing session I'm thinking like I'm gonna write for Truesdale 
Yeah. You know, it feels like sure. whatever the sound is that we've kind of created over the years, it's we're just kind of continuously, at least in this past record, serving kind of that sound that right. we've developed, right. which I'm sure will change over the years. Well, maybe yeah. one day the blue record will come out. Yeah. The <laughs> record and the green we've one. Had, oh, yeah. my you know, gosh. Type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You know, and uh, you've said off camera already that another album's already in the works, which is amazing. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're yeah. very excited. We don't know like exactly what form it will be and how it will come out, but we've been writing, we're constantly writing in between everything that we're doing when we're traveling and recording the songs we've already written. And um, so we have a collection of songs already and we're definitely gonna, now that we're home for like a few months, mm -hmm. we're definitely gonna sit down and like write some more, just right. the three of I us. I imagine it's easier to do than on the road. Yes. Oh, I would never. <laughs> Although, one of our songs, <laughs> sure, If You're sure. Hurting, which oh, is you're right. on the Out of My Mind, uh -huh. we did start that on tour in yeah. our room. It's easier to start, actually tour is a great place for our songs to start. Yes. yes. Like the idea Because like, you're feeling so many things and you're like. Right, what was the sort of catalyst moment? Mm. Uh, for If You're Hurting? Yes. Um, we were, well, I think, we, we had just played a show, we were playing, we were opening for J.P. Sachs, we were in Salt Lake City, uh, Utah, and we came back to the hotel we were staying at, and um, we just started singing that, I feel like you started singing, if you're hurting, and then we kind of went, we were feeling the audience, because people were really listening to us, and we were kind of trying to, at least my memory of it is, I was trying to assess what the audience was feeling at that show, and it's just an intense thing to perform and get a different vibe in the room every night. And that was just a specific vibe. Mm -hmm. And for some of that audience, it was a, a energy. And we were, I'm sure, somewhere subconsciously also feeling like we were hurting a little bit of missing home, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, songs just come when they come. And we were there, and then it came. And we kind of finished it a little bit in that hotel room. And then we finished it fully with Maddie Diaz, who's an amazing writer. Yeah. Um, like a couple months later. My goodness. Yeah. You're already name dropping a little too much for <laughs> us. Okay. JP oh Sachs, Matty Diaz. Sorry. Uh, again, we're here with Truesdale. Truesdalemusic.com is the website. Your merch game is uh, is good. And uh, people could uh, yeah. do the deep dive into all things Truesdale on the website. Um, how important is social media to this band? It's really important. <laughs> it's, I feel like it's more important than we wish that it was. As Quinn says that with like it's an insane so look like in her eyes. You have to force yourselves um, to, um, yes. to do it. It's yeah. only a job for sure. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. Every day. But honestly, the yeah. more that we've put into it, the more fun I feel like we can have with it. And Quinn, I don't yeah. know, you're not agreeing with me. No, there. I agree. No, I agree. <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't know how you, Georgia posts, Georgia's like, the queen of Instagram for us. Okay. And she, especially when we're on the road, it's like she's taking care of it. And yeah. so I I don't know how much fun you have with a post, having to post every day on Instagram. Well, it's kind of creative. It's a yes. fun little way. And after a show, it's kind of like the next day, I've changed my pattern. I no longer check the tagged stories the night of the show. I do it the next morning. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you can be a little hard on yourself. Like, well, that, that sounded great. That sounded really bad. Yeah. But I think, um, yeah, it's a job. Yeah. Like anything. I feel yeah. like about TikTok too. I think it's, TikTok's a little bit more, I, I think it's like you could kind of put whatever on there because. Yeah, Quinn is our TikTok guru. Okay. Most of our followers don't see our posts. Like TikTok yeah. is so difficult where yeah. we have like 200 something thousand followers and like sometimes we'll get like 1,000 views on a video. So I think there's a good and a bad part of that where I don't think that we get enough eyes on like our music yet and ears on our music, mm -hmm. but you can kind of just like put anything. In. Yeah, it makes it a little easier with Instagram. Like more people see it. And I will but. just quickly say, I think just social media in general feels so important to our band because it we get to show our personality, just the craziness of us, the way that we look without all this makeup. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like our fans, when they come to shows, yes. feel like they know each of us individually. Mm -hmm. Yes. So mm -hmm. the social media thing could be. 
forced. However, it comes off very genuine, like you're engaging your fans in a really cool way digitally. You yeah. know, I'm so glad. Uh, there was a video that I saw of you all on the road, and it's uh, sort of a video montage, if uh, that's what you call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yes. I don't know if it was a line dance or the electric slide or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was like, you know, different yes. stops along yep. the road. Here's a truck stop. Yep. Here's a so-and-so or whatever. Yeah. I loved that little <laughs> snippet of a video. Oh, um, I thought it was very clever that you would take the time to do that. So that was that was Georgia's doing. Mm -hmm. Well, we all, you know, Yeah, we did, all filmed it and did it. And then Georgia edited all yeah. the clips yeah. together. It yeah. was funny sometimes, like being a little uncomfortable, being like, let's just do it here. I know. Like there are people watching and no, I know, they're right? all like judging us. We're like fine and we're like using our phone and playing the song. And just <laughs> yeah. like yeah. But but like Quinn would have just woken up from like a deep, deep, deep sleep, sleep yeah. in the band. Deep like, sleep. We'll do the black. It is <laughs> like it's so like I think going off of what Georgia said, like showing who we are and showing just like what our actual lives are like, especially on tour. I think there's like a big misconception sometimes that it's so glamorous and we're traveling the world and like, oh, did you get to sightsee? And like, how did you like the city? And What food did you try? We, we, all the time people are like, how did you love, like, how did you like the city? Like, did you get, and we're like, we rolled in an hour ago. Yeah, I was yeah. about to ask yeah. you like, what's Vancouver like? But you may or may not have oh. even experienced it. No, no clue. Well, we yeah. walked around no. for a second. Oh know. yeah, we, we walked like oh, one yeah. block and then back to see the sunlight. Great block. <laughs> and then came back and did sound check. Totally. <laughs> it's a good block. block. Yeah. It was a good block. Yeah. A, a block. I block of there. steps, got a Salvation Arm. You know, saw a Salvation oh, Army. That, yeah, that was Vancouver, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did walk to Salvation Army to buy yep. uh, Buy some merch merch because ours, our merch got seized the border. Seized oh really? Yes, you indeed. Can't bring merch across the border anymore, apparently. Well you gotta yeah. just be a little careful about how you go about it and how you prepare with the paperwork and you yeah, know. Yeah, if anybody so has any questions, you know, about the border, they can just message us. So you yeah. know all about it at this point. Oh Absolutely. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. we're experts. Yeah. 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 We're Fair. walking Fair back and forth <laughs> between US, Canada. Yeah. Got to know all the guys. Hundred <laughs> meters. Hundred meters away. <laughs> using the metric system on us, it was cruel. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna hear some live music in our studio. Uh, three songs off the new record, "Out of My Mind." Um, one of those songs is uh, "Smart Iowa," and there is a music video for that song that was sort of produced by yourself. Yes. Yeah. Who yeah. came up with the concept? I guess you. Yeah, I and did. Yeah. I was um I was watching I was actually watching a TikTok about and someone was doing like shadow work with like performance with their hands and I was like so cool and then I was like we should do that like we and we don't have a lot of money to spend we don't have like large budgets on anything and I was like we actually probably shouldn't hire someone to do that and then I was watching Harry Potter and I was watching the scene in the last movie where they talk about the Deathly Hallows and it's like this beautifully animated portion of the movie and it's like a little childlike because it's a it's a children's story but it's it also is dark and it was just so cool and I just started doing like a deep dive on like the, there's an animator, Lottie Ryan, Lada maybe, that's how you pronounce her name? Lada Reiniger. Mm -hmm. And she was in like the 20s, she was doing this animation. She was one of the first animators and um, she did stop motion. Anyway, I got like super inspired by yeah. it. I have never done like visual art before, but I just got I was really obsessive about it. Incredible. Honestly, was doing it nonstop and yeah. was cutting Amazing. everything out and did it on a cardboard box. With she my would phone. bring it. We were in the process of finishing the album, and she would bring her, her paper, paper, and her yeah. Exacto knife. Yeah, and yeah. do it while she's giving notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we just you know cut that? Whatever. Sure. Yeah, it's really into it's, it. it's very cool. Again, that's the Thank the you. Smart Iowa video. So you. You're from what, Michigan mm -hmm. originally, and what about the rest of the band? I'm from Los Angeles, California, just right down the uh, right down the freeway. Awesome. The freeway. Yeah. Awesome. I'm from upstate New York originally, but I've lived in Santa Monica for cool. a really long time. So we claim you as our own. You are yes. officially a Southern California band. 100%. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're here to support you yeah. no matter what. Um, again, it's a pleasure to have you here in studio right now. A couple Thank more you. questions real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah. Who made the shirts? <gasps> Thank you so, so much for asking. Yes, so glad you asked. Um, so <laughs> Hannah Sai, I think that's how you pronounce her name, yes. and her Instagram handle is by Hannah Sai, mm -hmm. and she, cool. yeah, she made a video um, and tagged us in it of her making these uh, Truesdale like styled tops, Crochet. and it was right before Obviously. our LA show, and I was really looking for an outfit to wear, and I saw the video, and I was like, I have to 
wear this at the show. She has a it's a hood so and everything. Cool. Yeah, it was so sweet. She came to the show. She brought she brought these for us, and it's an honor to wear them. They're like so beautifully made. I know. It was the, it's the first time someone's like made all of us. Oh no, someone made us vests before. Yes. So this is the second time mm -hmm. a fan has made us. Uh, clothing. So, if anyone out there wants to make us, you know, custom clothing, if you're feeling <laughs> we'll wear inspired it. by Hannah, just go for it. Cool. Yeah. And you said you all met at USC, mm -hmm. and that's the music program, right? I, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. So, going into a program like that, did you come in as like, oh, I'm going to be the bassoon player? Or, you know, <laughs> I'm going to learn how to be the best vocalist. Or I specialize in, you know, piano. Mm -hmm, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. was that how? The, you get into the, yeah. the system there? Yeah, yeah. you yeah. have to audition with like an emphasis, so they call it. Uh -huh. um, so I was songwriting. Georgia did kind of both songwriting I, Yeah, auditioned as voice, and then I got my way into the songwriting major. Mm. And then I, I didn't did, even realize it was a freaking thing. Yeah, it, I feel like I didn't even know there was songwriting. I wouldn't have auditioned as a songwriter, but I went in as a vocalist and then started songwriting. Yeah. And there yeah. are people that are like guitar emphasis, piano emphasis, drums. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but once you're in, they kind of really expect you to, you know, be a, be a jack of all trades yeah. and sure. hop on the guitar, hop on the keys mm -hmm. and be a team player like within the band. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you found each other there and never yeah. looked back. Yeah. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's what, there were only 25 of us ish in the program. So it wasn't hard for us to find each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but sure. Um, but we're glad that we stuck with it. Yeah, we definitely weren't like, oh my God, this is, I don't think that we knew then that this was going to be our career. I think yeah. we genuinely found each other and it felt like such a source of comfort and um, a space to feel comfortable and safe within this really scary uh, kind of intimidating program. And I think we all had our own separate initially dreams of doing our own thing mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and it unfolded in this beautiful unexpected way as life does you mm -hmm. know it's just like okay this is actually what I'm going to spend my life doing and yeah yeah we natural. say all it's like honestly comical how many times we say we're so grateful for each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. like in any given week because it is just it really is such a tough journey t to yeah. make it in music and especially as an artist and there are so many highs and lows and being able to go through those with some of your best friends yeah. is just really such a gift and i don't think that i personally could do it on my own just like it's so it's so tough it's and so tough yeah we're we're so grateful to have each other yeah, yeah. it's incredible well, congrats on the recent success. Thank you. And again, we'll, we'll be here for you. So, you know, our doors are open. Open door policy. Come visit oh. us anytime. It is an honor. Um, it is an honor to be here uh, with you guys, honestly. Yeah. We love the station. So, oh, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, truly. Yeah, see, music fans dig on what uh, the SoCal sound is doing. Yeah, it's a favorite on my radio in my car. You know, it's like one of the... So good, great music. Appreciate oh, yeah. that. Not to like toot yeah. our horn by saying great music because we're on here. But <laughs> genuinely, it's an honor to be here. It is. Yeah. Appreciate that so much. And uh, uh, people could find you on social media. Just search for Truesdale, I imagine, yep. right? Truesdale Music. Truesdale Music, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for being here, and we will talk to you soon. Yay! Thank you. Thanks for having us. You got it. She don't miss the PCH or the California waves, no she don't. She don't see Adobe skies, cause she's got green in her eyes, yeah she does. Walked away from everything, left behind the silver screen years ago. Smart and moved to Iowa Where nobody could bother me no more 
She wanted her own garden with a big old basset hound out on the porch. She used to wear her wedding rings. Now the only gold she sees is in the corn. She once loved a leading man who built her castles in the sand years ago. But if you ask her why she ran, she'll reach out and take your hand and say, you know, I got smart and moved to Iowa, where I got what I need. Coffee and the laundry on the line. She don't miss the role she played, but she thinks about the stage from time to time. Movie sets and curtain calls, broken love and alcohol. She didn't need to have an encore. She said, I got smart and moved to us. Smart and move to Iowa where nobody could bother me no more. I got smart and move to
town You can't keep your mouth shut They say I've been messing around If I did, so what? You're gonna do about it Tell all your friends about it That I'm a sweet talk train wreck Trying to get revenge But I can live without it Ain't even mad about it So you can lie, lie, lie But you better be Stitches. Now I'm a kissing cake, catch riding horses out west, and I can live without you. Already forgot about you until you lie, lie, lie. So you better be careful where you point your finger. You never know who's listening. Who's listening? Our people just love to whisper. What goes around comes back again. I got dirt, but I don't spill the tea. My you better be to whisper what goes around 